I went to study with Charlie Lawton because he was Pacino's coach and um, a friend, and I wanted to learn Strasbourg from him. Um, I had just come from five years of Meisner, so I felt on top of my game. And when we were doing sense memory exercises, I thought, okay. So we started off, and it was a long, like an hour and a half of relaxation, which in the middle of it I became unrelaxed because it was too long for me. And then we started doing coffee cup for about another hour and a half. And Charlie was a really nice, soft-spoken man, and at the end of it he'd say, hey, how's it going, Tony? I said, well, I don't know, Charlie, I don't smell the coffee, I can't taste the coffee, I don't feel the cup. Maybe a little swishing thing when I go like this. But meanwhile, people are crying and laughing, and I'm not feeling anything. But I'm so forgiving of myself, I thought, okay, it's my first class, what do I expect? Next class, I'm doing orange juice. And it's like people are moaning and crying and upset and laughing. And how's it going, Tony? I said, I don't know, Charlie, I can't smell the juice. I don't taste the juice. I don't know if it's cold or hot. I can't feel the glass. I'm not getting it. He said, and he said, well, it's not important that you get it, so you try. I said, okay. It's only my second time. Well, this went on for weeks. Shaving cream. How's it going, Tony? I don't know, Charlie, I can't feel the razor. I don't smell the shaving cream. I don't feel anything. Um, well, it's not important that you get it, so you try. Shower, the same thing. Hot, cold, I don't feel it. By week seven, we're on wind. And I'm feeling it. My shirt's like this, and I'm like, in the wind of my arms and on the back of my neck and I'm stuck crying and without trying to go anywhere I was transported to Southeast Elementary I'm laying on the grass I'm flying a kite the kite's dancing in the sky and Charlie said how's it going Tony? I said and as I'm crying I'm feeling good because I'm emotional Charlie yeah, you know I really feel the wind and I feel like I'm in fourth grade and I'm flying this kite and he said well it's not important that you get it it's that you try and he walked he well, he was in a wheelchair. He got pushed away. And I thought, fuck that shit. Don't tell me it's not important. I've been beat myself up for seven weeks because I'm feeling like I don't know how to act anymore because I'm not feeling shit. The exercise is over. And I still feel the wind. I'm getting cold, as a matter of fact. I'm feeling it really strong. So I, I pull down my sleeves and I'm, I'm, I'm getting worried because I think something snapped in my head. I, I went too far. I tried too much. <laughs> I get cold and I go to crack my neck and right above where I was doing the exercise, there was a circular fan that somebody had turned on. And I waited for Charlie. And you could see I'm upset. He goes, what's my Tony? So Charlie, I got to apologize to you. I didn't create that wind. Of, I was sitting under, I didn't lose a fan. Somebody turned the fan on. That's what I was feeling. And he said, well, it's not important that you get it, it's that you try. As I drove home that day, it finally clicked what he'd been saying to me every class since the first one. And how I took it is it wasn't about the result, it was always about the journey. And as a teacher, that's something I would love, I loved sharing. And as a human being, it is just great life advice. Because so much of my life, I was so, I put off any kind of happiness until I made it, which meant making money as an actor and maybe being famous as an actor. And I would, I enjoy, I, I missed out on a shitload of the journey. Yeah, so, not anymore.